Number 12, three skaters, one with mass 65 kilograms and the other with mass 40 kilograms stand on ice rink holding a pole of length 10 meters and negligible mass. Starting from the ends of the pole, the skaters pull themselves along the pole until they meet. How far does the 40 kilogram skater move? So let's say that the 40 kilogram skater is this guy over here and the 65 skater is this guy over here okay and we know that this distance is 10 meters okay so this distance is 10 meters and they are pulling themselves and they are going to meet somewhere i'm not sure we have to calculate it but they're going to meet at some point and we have to find that point where it is okay so that's we have to find this value, let's call it x. Okay, so we have to find the value of x. So the trick here is for you to notice that you don't have any external forces. And we know that the from Newton's second law, the, the sum of the external forces is equal to the sum of the masses times the acceleration of the center of mass. So, since we don't have any external forces, the forces are internal, we don't have acceleration of the center of mass, so the center of the mass, center of mass of the system remains at the same position. So the center of mass of this system composed of those two skaters at the, this distance over here, the center of mass of this system is exactly the center of mass of this system over here. So we can conclude that they are going to meet at the center of mass of this system over here. So all we have to do is calculate the center of mass of this system. Let's say that this is the origin of our system. So this is zero. So let's say this is the x direction. So if we want to find the x position, x, the, the x component of the center of mass, all we have to do is to sum the masses and then multiply by the sum of i equals to one until n of m i x y and in this case this is just m1 plus m2 times m1 the position of the first skater plus m2 times the position of the second skater so the sum of the masses is 40 plus 65 multiplied by 40 times 0 because the position of the red one is 0 plus 65 times 10 right okay so this is equal to 1 over 105 times 650 and this calculation gives us let's see this calculation gives us 6.2 roughly 6.2 meters Okay, so this position over here, it's 6.2 meters, so the drawing is not that good, it should be something like this. But anyway, the 40 kilogram skater should move 6.2 meters because initially it was at the position 0 meters and now it is at 6.2 meters and that's the answer of this exercise.